Um, housekeeping. Keep my house. We've had some correspondence, because obviously the last episode was great. We had Jason on as a guest. That was a lot of fun. Yep. Um, Lee, who co-hosts uh, with Jason, tweeted us to say, I really hope people know I was kidding in my email and not actually demanding a guest spot like a dick. Well, it's too late, Lee. We're giving you a guest spot, so... So it just goes to show, act like a dick, get rewarded. <laughs> No, I didn't think he was being a dick. Like, no, I no. read it as like, tongue-in-cheek. Um, yeah. And then he said, I never expect anything. I just thought it'd be funny. And then hearing it back, I became acutely aware that it may sound like I was demanding. Oh, no, it, it didn't. We knew it was a joke. I'm yeah, sure our listeners exactly. all knew it was a joke. It could be that I read it out in my monotonous voice. It didn't have the right, like, inflection. Yeah, that's that's the thing, listeners. If you write into us, Liam usually reads them out. So it's going to come across as sarcastic and mean. Yeah. Um, fun fact, Kat said that she felt like she'd been a bit too mean to you this weekend did she yeah and then she said but i weren't as mean to him as you were so i don't feel that bad <laughs> and i didn't even think i was that mean uh, okay sorry did i no i was thinking no, of I was... you while you was outside by yourself having a little smoke and then tweet <laughs> no that was a good one saying here's jack with all his friends like cat did no that's true you didn't so you know uh and then lee tweeted saying looking forward to our inevitable 50 further episodes in some form together um yep and then he had a bit of a moment of crisis, I think, where he said, sweet God, the rules aren't that I have to talk about Belfast, right? Because it sucks, but it's also not interesting. Because obviously, Jason chose like a Quebecian film. I think Lee was a bit like, oh my God, culture swap. Does it mean that sort of culture? No, Lee. It doesn't. Like the, like I've been going back to listening to some of our old episodes for a secret project I'm working on. And the whole point of culture swap is that we're just like trying to expand each other's cultural horizons. Yeah, it started as a way, because Liam loved films... Yeah, and I loved games and comics. We were just it was comics, yeah, and we were just trying off. to we were just trying to give each other stuff from those different cultures. Yeah, things that we maybe like wouldn't necessarily have discovered by ourselves. Yeah, which you know it ended up not being that. It ended up being Liam giving me shit and me having to part with it, and me giving Liam shit and not hearing the end of it. That's one way to look at it. Well, uh, and then Lee sort of was like, "Oh, using this nerd opportunity to talk Sonic the Hedgehog, my only true love, might be too good to pass down." Or Last Starfighter. So maybe one of those two things we'll be talking about on a future episode. Hell yeah, sounds good. Uh, Corey, friend of the show, tweeted us um, with quotation marks saying horse racer and then LMFAO because I think I got my words a bit wrong in the last episode. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah. Um, Gibbo tweeted us saying the beginning of the podcast seems to be missing. And then I did ask him like to re-download it and I don't, I, we didn't get a follow-up. With it. Well, he said he'll re-download it again and see. Didn't get a follow up to see if it works. So hopefully, that did you go it and listen to see if it was there? Yeah. Was it there? Yeah. Okay. So hopefully, Gibbo, it worked, and hopefully this one works. If not, I have no idea what was happening, Gibbo, and I'm sorry. No. I did put Liam in charge of uploading, so yeah, you know, take from that what you will. That's why I was a little bit worried because I was like, shit. <laughs> the one time I upload has something gone wrong. But no, I did. I did go back and check. Uh, uh, good uh, times. In session film said they were listening, but we didn't really get any follow up, so they probably hated it. If you didn't hate it, guys, thanks. Yeah. Um, if you did Amanda's, hate it, fuck off. Amanda's mum tweeted us. Yep, Amanda's mum, friend of the show. Yeah, saying in 1933, my grandfather went to prison for a year for making and selling moonshine. Jesus. So Jason responded saying, I can understand during the prohibition. I don't think I mentioned that I'd sell it though. And um, she replied <laughs> saying, No, no. But be sure to fully enjoy the formerly illicit pleasures to the fullest. Yep, I think that's probably good advice. Yeah, um, and also, Jack, uh, we had Reed Schmied, who I believe is the um, the like college professor who gave her students some of the Atlantic Screen Connection podcast oh. to listen to. Yeah. Um, to it saying, learning so much about Quebec from Jason on the Nerd on Nerd podcast app. So I imagine we've got another regular listener right there. Well, no, it sounds like she's probably listened to that episode and been like, what an educational podcast. And then she'll listen to like one other episode and be like, I, I was know. mistaken. Yeah. But, you know, if she does want to recommend Nerd on Air to her students, I still think it's a great idea. Do you know? What? I think it is in a, in a, this is like, this is where it can all go wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we had a lot of correspondence over the, the weekend um, when we were all tweeting up a storm because we were all together and having lots of fun. We and were all selfies. tweeting up a storm. Well, I was. You were. Um, oh, and Reach Me did follow up saying that they finished the podcast episode with Jason. Uh, they said quite enjoyable. So not hugely. But yeah, just quite. a little bit. Yeah. 
Uh, and then, but poorly, you can be on um, Joy Sandwich before Jason, which is a podcast that I assume they run. Mm. So, you know, that happened. Um, you know you don't have to read all the correspondence, right, Liam? Yeah, no, I know. The Real Escape UK tweeted us saying, great teamwork, congratulations on your escape. That was nice yep. of them. And? My God, you don't have to read it all. I know, Jack, but this Pick one's out actually... the best ones. No, I'm, I'm picking out the best one, all right? Okay. Hang on. I'm just trying to find it. I've taken my trousers off, by the way, as well, because it got too hot. So you might hear that on the audio when you're editing. I hope so. It happened like 20 minutes ago. I think you were talking about a book. Oh, good. I can't find... Oh, hang on. Yeah, here we go. Uh, Chuck tweeted us. Yep. Saying, how about a podcast on applying sun cream? Jack is an SME following his trip to Mad Cool Festival. And let me tell you something, Jack. I know what SME stands for. What does it stand for? Subject matter expert. Oh, yeah, I am. So, are you not impressed? I, I knew that. Yeah, I, well, yeah, I mean, yeah, sure. Did you want me? Sorry, what, I don't know how to respond. To, yeah, I'm so no, impressed that you knew yeah, what SME you, stood for. First, you give me the, the compliments, and then you respond to Chuck. Sorry, okay. Liam, I'm so proud of you for knowing what SME is. Thank you. Yeah, I got really badly sunburnt. So, you, why, so you, you've gone to do a podcast on applying sun cream. That doesn't seem like a good idea. Well, I can. People can learn from my mistakes. That's true. They'll be. Oh god, I'd be more educational than last week's. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for housekeeping. Done. Good.